So hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Technologies Private Limited. My name is Saurabh Mishra, and today in this video, we are going to discuss about this copper strip corrosion basket. So its order code is MT879. In this video, we are going to discuss about its working, its functionality, its application, and its components. So starting with the component part of the copper strip corrosion bath. So this is the water bath in which you should have to pour the distal water for the long life. Don't use the tap water. I fill the distilled water in it. This is the main motor attached to the stirrer. Here you can see this is the power switch button for the main supply, for the stirrer, for the permanent heater, the first heater and the second heater. Then this is the temperature controller. To this you can set this temperature to 100 degrees Celsius. Here a panel given for fitting out the thermometer. You can use the glass thermometer for noting down the temperature of the water bath. This is the ejection panel through which you can pour out the water from this container. Now starting with this, how does it work? Let's have an eye on that. Firstly, you have to take the two test tubes like this, in which you have to fill the any uh, oil, I have filled the petrol in it and dip the copper plate provided to you in both of these test tubes. Okay, so you can see after this. So, you have to just clean up the copper strips with the paper we have given for uh, removing of its rust. So, we are testing that how much rust will it come when we dip it into the any kind of oil or liquid samples. After that, uh, try to use gloves before using it. Then after that, you have to take these containers, empty it hollow from inside and you have to put the test tube inside these bottles. So just, you have to put the test tube inside this bottle. Be careful while handling it. Just put it and close this with this cap. It is having a hook in, uh, on the upper side so that we can use it while hanging inside the water bath. Be careful. Similarly, do it with the other. Just take the test tube sample and the copper plate inside it and put it inside this after that close down this with its cap ok now you can see that I have filled the water bath till this bottle gets uh, dipped into this ok so till fill this water bath till this water level then you have to just close with this panel. This having four lids. So just we will connect these with this. So let me show you. you just take down, take up the one lid and just put the hook into this circle and then dip this into this water bath. Similarly, take another, put this hook into this and just put this into this, like this. Then take into consideration that all switches should be on. And now we will connect the main supply. So let's connect the main supply of this copper strip corrosion bath. So let's switch on the main supply for this. The stirrer is on, booster left heater is on, permanent heater is on. Now switch on this main supply. So you can see the readings being noted on this temperature sensor. So just you have to set the temperature to 100. So the we have to take it 100. You can increase or decrease the temperature. Like I've been using it at 100 degrees Celsius. So the 
Save value is 100 degrees Celsius and present temperature is 28.6 degrees Celsius. So it will increase slowly. So let it give the time. See 28.6 to 28.7 and gradually it will increase the temperature to 100 degrees Celsius and uh, the water based temperature will become at 100 degrees Celsius in a few minutes. So you have to wait it till it gets hot. It will either take 3 to 4 hours and after that we will check for the results. Till that we have to wait. So let's wait for 3 more hours. So you are seeing that the temperature goes to 68.4 degrees Celsius. It took uh, nearly 35 to 40 minutes to increase it to from 30 degree to 68 near by 70 degree it will take around uh, half an hour more to get to the 100 degree celsius you can see that the temperature is increasing at 68.7 degree celsius then now it will become at 68.8 degree celsius this is how it will increase till 100 degree celsius so we have to wait till it becomes 100 degrees Celsius and after becoming the present value at 100 degrees Celsius we just have to wait for 2 more hours so that it can boil at least for 2 hours at 100 degrees Celsius and then we will set this kit to get cooled down and then afterwards we will check for the corrosion that how much corrosion uh, there was in the copper plates and after that we will check it with the color plates that how much it get tarnished let me show you the plates so you can see there will be this kind of uh, color plate for the checking out the corrosion standards so in this there is a slight tarnish 1a 1b this is freshly polished we are we have used then if it is following series from 2a to 2e it is following for the moderate tarnish then 3a 3b it will be dark tarnish and 4a well 4c it is the highly corrosive so after putting out those copper plates from these kits we will check the color by matching it with this color plates so it is the astm test method So you can see the temperature is right now 70.9, 71 degrees Celsius, it is increasing gradually, it will take half an hour more. Let's take a look when it gets to 100 degrees Celsius as a present value. Now you can see that the temperature has reached 97 degrees Celsius, so just 3 degrees Celsius more. It will increase and it will get 100 degrees Celsius. Let me show you it when become 100 degrees Celsius. So now you can see that it has reached 98.2 degrees Celsius and the lights for the permanent and booster heater is blinking. So it will control uh, automatically. So there is no need to worry about that. The permanent heater and the booster heater LED light switch uh, fitted in the switch will blink according to the controller. So let's wait for it to get boiled. So you can see it is boiling, uh, it is blinking, the LED lights in the switches is blinking. So we will boil it. Or 100 degrees Celsius for one and a half or two hours more. So after boiling it at two hours, we'll show you the results. You can see the temperature is 98.6 degrees Celsius right now, and you can even see it. Let it carefully, the vapors are coming out and the water is at 98.6 degrees Celsius. It will very slowly increase after the 98 degrees Celsius. 
So this is the complete demonstration and explanation of this kit from my side. If you have any query related to this kit, you can contact at Tesla Technologies for the information related to this kit. You can refer to the manual and information related to our other kits. You can refer the links given in the description. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, just like, share, and subscribe to our channel.